The world's largest block party at Old St. Pat's Church attracts thousands of people each year. Since 1984, Chicagoans enjoyed the good vibes at the ultimate summer party. We'd have 11,000 people here on a given night. But this year, that tradition is coming to an end. We've had 35 great years, and uh, now it's just time for something new. With so many other summer fests across the city, the church wanted to change directions. 35 years ago, we didn't have Lollapalooza, you didn't have Lake Shake. But don't worry, there's going to be another party. On March 14th, the Shamrock in the Block begins. It's a new pop-up pub in the heart of the West Loop. The same spot, just a different day and an updated tradition. We just thought it'd be a great opportunity to celebrate Old St. Pat's and uh, all the good things that we do here. And the Old St. Pat's block party wasn't just about making memories, but also building relationships. The church says over the years, more than 150 couples fell in love with the block party and ended up getting married. Couples like Rob and Jenny Drancic. It was uh, July 18th, 1997. The block party remembered as the best night of their life. Rob also remembers the pickup line he used. I literally walked up and cheesy as I am said, hi, do uh, you believe in love at first sight or should I walk by again? The couple married in 1999. St. Pat's ready to continue making memories. We have uh, presided a lot of weddings of people who met here. Uh, of course, the most romantic ones are the people that met in line for the porta potty, you know, so that always makes good homily material. <laughs> oh, what great stories uh, out of yeah. St. Pat's, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, hopefully those stories will continue, continue even yes. with, the, with the new event. That was our Alexis McAdams reporting, by the way. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.